402, what it do? This is my guy D-Ray right here. What up, D-Ray? How you feel, homie? I feel excellent, Mark Nash. How you do? Man, I'm always good, even when it's bad, homie. Talk to me, man. <laughs> we got a lot going on, baby. Uh, the Big Fish found a way to do a big duck right here. What are we talking about? Hey, man, he slid off the hook, bro. <laughs> they had him. <laughs> they had him, and he slid off the hook, man. Yo, what can I say? Yo, we thought we had him, man. Man, that's a big fish, man. So, man, he, he'll, he'll wiggle his way off, right? Yes, sir. Hey, if, if they determine to and you ain't got that hook all the way in there, they either going to hurt themselves or uh, they're going to get away. Man, I think he's on the endangered species list. Somebody took him <laughs> off the hook, homie. <laughs> they was like, you can't kill Flipper. He's dolphin. He's a take... big dolphin, homie. <laughs> Don't tell me that they put him at SeaWorld, bro. Protected, man, huh? He's a dolphin, man. We got yeah, the dolphin the, man he, right here. Because homie, he let's, ain't let's in the wild clear. water no more. Let's Go be ahead, clear. Bro. It was all good just a week ago, homie. It was all good just a week ago. Last year, I mean, last week, your favorite content creator was out here telling people, man, uh, Crawford versus Spence, that's the biggest fight in boxing. That's what we all want right there. That's what we all want. That's what we need. We got to do it now. He's a free agent. No more excuses. We see that man get up out of the arena. Uh, we see him do a lot of other things, too. We ain't going to talk about that right now. Um, that's kind of uh, – y'all already know how that go. But um, I'm happy for Ugas. But let's be clear, man. Ugas versus Spence is not the fight we all – I thought we was just saying we won. Now, they're going to say, well, Ugas was in the tournament. But you also said Spence was behind the scenes trying to make the Terrence Crawford fight. But now we all know, no, he's behind the scenes trying to buy off the WBA. Talk to me, man. That's exactly what it looked like, bro. I mean, like you said, there was, there, there was no escape hatch for him to be able to get the level of fight that, that he was demanding, except for Bud. He was he had to negotiate with Bud unless he found a way out and you guys gave him a parachute. Oh man, not you guys, Ugas. Nah, the, it was it's the it's the WBA. But I'm happy for Ugas. Couldn't happen to uh for a better guy. I will say that. But Ugas could and Ruiz this whole situation. We can we agree to that? For sure. He done Manny Pacquiao the situation already once, you know? Oh, man. That's a super fat right there. I got to give you a bell for that one. <laughs> yeah, he already took money off the table. Mm. And what I'm going to say about this... He, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I just wanted to say, man, and see, and that's the whole thing, though, is that a lot of, uh, I call them Buzz supporters, Buzz fans, people who know the kid, from a way back, you know, a, a lot of them, you know, like, like I spoke to a guy this week, bro, he was telling me, and he know him, like going back from he, even like he, he, he know his, uh, his, his parents real good, you know what I'm saying? But he, he even said he did not know, Bud was going to get this far, you know what I'm talking about? So, they just really want him to be able to test his skills against the best, bro. Not saying, oh, he's going to whoop him, he's going to do this, but they wanted for him to be able to match Omaha's best against the world's best, which basically ended up being AKA Earl Spence Jr. And like you saying, they playing Russian roulette, putting Ug Ugas on the wheel and, and spinning the wheel and hope that it don't come up. You know, fucked up. Mm. I couldn't agree more because here's the deal, man. I thought we we can't we kept saying Bud ain't fought nobody, but Bud just beat the guy, stopped Sean Porter. So we got Sean Porter as a common opponent, Kel Brook as a common opponent. He stopped everybody since he's been to welterweight. This is the bigger fight. Clearly, oh, absolutely. This is the bigger fight, it, and, and you can't say where well, well, this is for unification. This is a unification too. With Bob Arum's in the way, Bob Arum ain't there no more. Total free <laughs> agent. 
Oh no, no, no. no. Oh, what well 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 Ugas is tied up. Okay, well Ugas is free too. Now he got free range. No, Ugas wasn't free. He they went and paid, went above and beyond petition at the peti- big money. And the oh, WBA yeah. gonna get uh Stan uh, Stan gonna get his step aside. He's gonna have to pay them a cut of that too, I'm sure. To stay in the right. to stay in position. Spence gotta pay it. He gotta pay them something. Yeah, he gotta pay, he gotta pay them a fee. Who guys gotta pay his fee? They were like shit. Let's get this big money. Oh, oh absolutely. But I wonder and are they gonna they mandate build... Crawford next? Okay, so it's, ain't no more tournament. What what we gonna do far as this undisputed now? Now at this right. point, I get what they're gonna say. Uh 60, 60, 40, and all of that. Or now 70, 30, 80, 20. See, they thinking about the wrong things. They never really wanted this fight. And I'm talking about the, the fans, the content creators, because you can't tell me you're more happy about Spence versus Ugas than you're about Spence versus Crawford. Right. Hey, hey, but check this out. Here's the real thing. Uh they're gonna be wanting to to create. Bug got to go after Boots now. That's going to be the new narrative, bro, is that they're going to try to get rid of at least one of them out of the way because they don't want them to be able to fight both of them. But already, so they're going to... Man, Bud can write his own ticket right now. That's the thing. And we see what he was trying to do. And now we see the whole time what Errol Spence was trying to do. Not that. I mean this. <laughs> Maybe that too. Maybe that too. Maybe a little, mwah, mwah. Yeah, little, little mwah, girl, mwah, little you know jealous. Uh, well, I ain't gonna call it a little girl, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, one of them women back there was talking about somebody was being jealous. So uh yeah, you heard him in the back there. Like, don't yeah. kiss him. Yeah, man. I'll never yeah. let it go. <laughs> I told y'all if he ducked this fight, I was gonna keep playing it. Let me play it one more time for the road. Bro, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? Shit like that. But yo, man, this was just a little quick conversation, man. I appreciate you calling, man. You know, we're gonna talk about this more on the live. And um, yeah, I can't wait to do this live show, man. We gotta have a fish fry, man. And if you're mad, you already know how I feel. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep it a thousand on me, like, cause at the end of the day, we see if you're happy, more happy about this fight than about the Crawford fight, that's crazy. And um, where's the retraction at from the the content creators who was saying, "Oh no, nah, they working on it behind the scene." Nah, homie. Silence, silence. Well, I'm working on a damn thing. Hey, because you know what they're gonna say. They never heard of it. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I want to hear that. Bunch of capity cat. But it is what Captain it is. Cap. Yeah, capity cap. And we call it, yo, look, we see what happened, man. It is what it is. This shit is hilarious for me. Like, it's total content. I I can't wait. Because all of that, Bud was ducking. That shit is dead, homie. You can't say he was no. ducking. Now, I agree. I don't mind him fighting Ugas or and, and and him and Bud fight for all the marbles. I ain't mad if that's the if that's the master plan, great. But in my heart of hearts, when I see his face right here, I'm looking. I feel how Bud looking at him like here in this picture, like, <laughs> nigga, you bullshit, you bullshit. You don't want to fight me. You want to? Never mind. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm he light in the ass. <laughs> nah, he put that yellow beezy on. He want to put that yellow beezy yeah. on. But look, hey, it bro, is but, what it but, is. Uh, uh, well, why I got you real quick? I just wanted to thank you, bro, for real. I, I wanted to thank you for balancing out this boxing talk, man, because it is a lot of one sidedness. So I thank you very much for, uh, you know. Um, being in, interested in both sides of the fight, you know what I mean? And and uh, supporting uh, Bud's quest to try to be the best because that's all it is. He just wants to try to prove himself. And the thing is, and that's where, like, what you were just saying, bro, there is no more narrative after this. There is nothing that they can say, well, put it on Bud, make him look bad, bro. I, I think that all he got to do is handle his business and – 
you know, whoever wins that fight, I, I think that the public is going to demand that Bud is next. So he just got to stay focused, man, and keep doing his thing, right. bro. And I and, think he, I think you know, he should fight. I think he should go and take that Keith Thurman fight because uh, Spence didn't ever fight him. Keith Thurman, right. uh, depending on how Keith Thurman and Barrios play out, because Barrios is a live dog too, but Keith should beat him, at least out right. him, right? He said he'll fight Crawford next. Crawford's such a dog. Yeah, he'll fight him in the summer. He'll fight him in the yeah, summer. But, 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 but now I want to ask you this one question now. Uh, fight, and I apologize, bro. In the fall. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because now they was talking about uh, EJ and uh, you guys is in uh, March, I think somewhere February, March, or April. And, and Keith Thurman talking about he's not going to be ready till June. Do, do you think that that's a long layoff, another distraction and, and no, potential. No, no, because this guy hurdle. is focused on greatness, bro. And he's starting to realize what we all realize. This kid is scared of me, yo. Right. Not scared like he's scared of him. Like No, but he, he knows he's the biggest threat. How about that? I should have said that. But right. This is my biggest threat. Right. And, and the thing is, and I and look, look at this picture, man. This, that picture when he was but, at that fight, when he was looking up, it, it hits different now. It's like, damn, man, I got to find another way out. Oh, man, because he looked into them eyes, bro. But see, and that's the thing, though, is that um, whether um, they fight or not, bro, is the, like, like we, we, our generation, you know, and I'm a little bit older or whatever, but I, it's not the same. I just remember when Sugar Ray Leonard and Thomas Hearns was going to fight, bro, I was worried for Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray went out there and put work in. Them guys made legendary moves and fights out there. And like you said, there ain't no shade. And you guys wish them nothing but the best. Hey, you know, may the best man win. You know what I mean? I'll be following you to try to find out what's going on with the fight. And when you call it, uh, breaking beats is where it's at, bro. I appreciate that. But, um, you know, I just want, you know, I just wanted our generation to be able to get that super fight that could be able to live on into the past, bro. I mean, and, you know, into the future, like the fights have of the past. And, you know, I just think, man, that like you said earlier, they plan and that's the thing. You can't play boxing. You You can try to set it up like you want to. But one punch can change everything. One fight can change everything. Facts. I just thank well, look, you, man, bro. I, I thank you. I appreciate you, man. Look, man, we're going to wrap this one up, man. I appreciate you so much for your time and your energy. Look, I'm a, we're going to cook this up uh, later on on, on <clears throat> later on on the live show. So, uh, yeah, man, I just want to tell you guys, love y'all. Look, man, congratulations to Errol Spence and um, Ugas. Yeah, I get my jokes off, but super congratulations to both of them because we do, we did want a unification at welterweight. We did need a unification at welterweight, and boxing needs it right now, right? So, um, and um, this is super dope. So, congratulations to both of these guys. I know I do my trolling, but this is big for boxing, and I'm never mad at a unification bout. Let that be clear. Um, with that said, remember, drinks require sleep. Goals require effort. Go out there and get your goals. I'm about to go out here and do some more work. It's your man, Mark Nash. I'll see you on the next one. Breaking Beats. Remember, it's a hip-hop political sports show with a comedy twist. We like to let the jokes fly because life is serious enough. All right, uh, go to martinash.com, grab a hoodie or something. All right, peace. This is the squad, sir. This is